Hello everyone. This photograph is Thomas Henry Moray demonstrating his energy device. Very interesting. He had no battery attached to this, no grid connection, uh, so there, and yet this pr would produce uh, power for hours enough to light, well it says here uh, 50,000 watts. Uh, he would uh, light up light bulbs as well as uh, electric flat iron. This was witnessed, for instance, by Dr. Harvey Fletcher, who signed an affidavit later, later in his life in Provo, Utah, that he had witnessed this and could not explain it. So many people are looking at this uh, technology and offshoots of it, including myself. And so here we have, a instead of a, an antenna that's uh, linear, I've got these coils. I've been looking at various transformers and coils and this is a little home built coil now I'm looking at it with the oscilloscope it's connected only to the oscilloscope here and I want to show you something with this little device this uh, picks up AC volt. it's an AC voltage detector and for instance this wire over here is hot so it lights up and as I go away from it, it turns off this wire here is not plugged in so but this one is you see <laughs> has to be uh, towards the end of that and and yeah so it's not there you go okay now here this is also picking up um, a signal from this outer coil which is hooked to the oscilloscope oh let me just uh, the trace here is uh, showing that we have a frequency of around 50 kilohertz on this very interesting not a very strong signal and that is we're looking at uh, something like a, uh, 11 or 12 millivolts peak to peak and yet we are able to uh, energize this little AC voltage detector quite nicely now the inner coil is not connected to the outer coil just induction and I've got magnetic shielding paper here between the two coils and yet I'm picking up a signal there and I just want to show you as I follow this wire out I continue to pick up a signal until the very end well actually right to the end almost almost to the very end and of course here I have to be pretty close and here I do have to be fairly close also to the wire to pick up that signal but there you go something I'm studying puzzling over trying to understand. Cheers everyone.